Listen closely, my darling, because I, your Heavenly Father, have something special to say to you today. I understand the struggles you've endured and the anxiety that nags at you to keep calm. I'm aware of all that is happening and have orchestrated events that you cannot fathom in order to bring about your benefit. There have been storms this season, yet even in them, you have seen my light shining through leading you back home amid the swirling gusts. Safe harbor remains hidden. I am getting ready to find solace in my son, my daughter, and the delicate ways in which my hands hold the world together. Even if uncertainty threatens from all directions, the raging sea is under my protection and your ship will not be able to pass it for days. You wailed for help in the face of incomprehensible sorrow and agony for what seems like an eternity. You've been patiently waiting for my assurances to dispel that long-suppressed sense of optimism. I have listened to your every wail and comforted your tired, anxious soul. His most lethal weapons are really an ode to my unwavering nature, Rob. There is no need for human design when I pronounce my will over an empty womb. I may arrange events according to the laws of nature. Living things are something I inhale in answer to my affirmative summons, to memory Dorsey awakens, and hidden anatomy rearranges. The supremacy of the heavenly paradigm over fallen existence. Oh, you who lack faith. My vision extends beyond earthly methods to satisfy human-made credibility criteria. My abilities surpass my understanding of what is beyond my mortal capabilities. My kingdom's offspring take heart the real monarch is unrestricted by any standard. I decreed the conclusion from the outset. A four-time alignment of engineering design with the beautiful finale in due season. Have faith in me even when you don't understand the big picture. I will lead you to a profound epiphany. I am ever-present yet hidden from view, and I use my cunning to overcome obstacles and see my word through to its conclusion. When loving dreams seem to be withering on the vine, just about to be ripe with the richest flavor, I am in charge, lovingly tending to life's bounty. I am unaffected by anything that may occur in order to ensure a bountiful harvest. I have instructed my angels to watch after this blossoming garden and have faith in me, because I am looking over this, and nothing can harm it. Therefore, I'm pleading with you now to tune into the heavenly frequency that is audible above the roar of worldly turmoil. In spite of the turbulent winds that hear my whisper, the raucous demands that are always trying to overshadow my mild tones are drowned out by my buffeting attention. I pray that you, the Prince of Peace, may find peace inside me and the strength to face whatever challenges lie ahead instead of letting yourself be influenced by the events unfolding around you. Let your actions be directed by the priorities of my kingdom and our intimate connection, my darling, to the ideas. We hatch in our private conversations because they are rich with eternal truth that originates from the start. Pay attention to my counsel because it is not based on human judgment, but on principles no amount of the world's typical chaos and degradation can disturb it, and it stays there, even while everything around it is trembling in the midst of moral upheaval. This direction will be a rock that you may lean on my knowledge, cannot be tampered with or taken concepts come and go, but they remain constant. Do not be persuaded by the ever-changing adaptable standards of the world. Embrace the unchangeable fact from heaven instead of giving in to pressure. It will give you the strength to stay steady with integrity. It is now the moment of trial, my beloved, as you face challenges, and your faith is challenged. It's easy to feel overwhelmed, however, keep in mind that even in the darkest times, my voice from on high will guide you. 
So, you may confidently follow my plan. Listen carefully to the details. Find strength in my timeless promises and let my words feed your spirit. Daily seeking me in prayer will lead you to the numerous areas where my knowledge is stored whenever you need direction for the future. I will provide it to you although techniques and technologies may evolve over time. The fundamental truths that shape everything have remained constant. Therefore, hold fast to your ideals, no matter how much opposition you get, despite attempts to alter them. They cling tenaciously to fundamental realities in any era you may utilize the rock-solid groundwork. My darling cling to this dependable support in a world where even the beacons that lead sailors might dim or shift your equilibrium, and steadiness will be maintained by adhering to my moral principles. I shine like a beacon that never goes out. I am the beacon that leads wayward spirits to safety. My unfaltering light will guide you securely back to my embracing arms. Whenever you feel disoriented, tired travelers come to me and exchange your troubles for a personalized plan to take things slow and steady. You have already arrived at your objective. Guided by heavenly connections, eternity is working in ways you can't see. But it's always for the best. Even while you keep on your way home, Look beyond the surface warped by the passage of time. Instead, see your life. Through the eyes of heaven, and you will discover the meticulous design behind every event. Put out of your mind the idea that everything is random or meaningless. You will be surprised by the magnificent journey from eternity to eternity, propelled by my unchanging will towards the objectives. I have set focus on the beautiful, comprehensive plan I have for you where everything comes together perfectly for your advantage and to demonstrate my glory through people who are loyal to me. I am grateful for the opportunity to empower my kingdom and participate in its mission. Your spirit is now free to fly on celestial currents that lead to boundless vistas of truth, beauty, and light. The heavenly images you may have are limitless and beyond all comprehension by this mortal intellect long ago. You were reborn with the seeds of eternity planted inside you. They call the clean environment of heaven their home, so come and inherit the beauty that never ends. The legacy that I am leaving you becomes more glorious with each passing day. Give up the lowly things and take up the lofty calling that I am giving you by my charity and compassion alone. I have paved the road for you to enter the holy place where you might walk in blessing and strength. This gift is offered freely to those who believe. It is not earned, therefore, enter my presence. Fearlessly you were once lost, but have been found you were blind, but can now see well. You are no longer an outcast, but an heir to my kingdom, which I will govern justly and lovingly. Your whole essence is imbued with my essence as I pour my life into you. You are my cherished child, Lord. You are my cherished child, Lord. I have fashioned you in my image. There is no time when I am not by your side. The tactics and insights I provide may lead you to a fulfilling life, I have for you customized to your unique identity, however, before you can build upon them. You must lay the groundwork, clear the space, and establish the cornerstone. Patience is the foundation. My benefits will flood the countries of this planet. My plans will come to fruition in ways that no mortal eye has seen yet, but they are all for my everlasting benefit my transform-forming power goes beyond your wildest expectations for what I can accomplish for you, my dear. When you walk the road of humility and trust, letting go of your preconceived notions about what is best, a growing ministry that satisfies hungry souls is my goal for you. 
If you set your focus only on me and ignore the other people who are trying to win your loyalty, I will make it happen when you need direction for the next step. My timing is impeccable so every piece of information will surface at the perfect moment so long as fresh opportunities come my way. I will be available assuming it serves my goals. I will bring it to your attention. You will be better prepared for the remaining concealed truths when each one is revealed. Put your faith in me and go forth. I will show you the road to the place. I've planned that all doors may be opened by obeying my rules. The lawgiver is revered when all subjects submit to the king's rule. Doesn't the kingdom thrive then come easily and lightly into my yoke? Because I am the one who bears your burden. I entrust to you a spirit bound in obedience to the Creator who conceived of infinity and spoke all worlds into existence is more important than any human accomplishment, which is why I impart these same truths to you. You can't create the kind of everlasting wealth that will be safe from the ravages of time and decay apart from me. I did not choose and shape you, my beloved, for this reason alone. After all, no mortal could ever hope to achieve such greatness on their own. But because my lavish love takes joy in making something magnificent out of something humble and frail in this world, let my instructions guide you along this mysterious journey of humility and faith, and I invite you to join me at this juncture in your life. I alone have the power to disclose, yet my word is unwavering. I will exalt the submissive spirit that gives up everything for my love. My darling child, my plans baffle the current system yet provide one certain way to liberty and abundance while you walk in perfect harmony with wonders that were formerly concealed. They will suddenly be plainly obvious if you choose to walk on a foundation of obedience or sand. You can't help but be in wonder as the seemingly impossible crumbles in front of your eyes. My riches are immeasurable. My knowledge is far-reaching and not even the infinite space of your cosmos, which seems to go on forever, could possibly contain all of my heavenly splendor. But I, the mighty and glorious one who sits atop an everlasting throne, give you my everything in a covenant of obedience and spiritual hunger, and then I throw open the gates of hell with riches in hand. Your God is prepared to fill you to the brim with my life's expertise and methods providing more than enough for everyone's needs and more than enough to offer freely. This commitment is yours to keep walking the road of surrender and faith in my lovely child, will allow you to live and develop to the fullest degree that your potential can hold. Here, your heart's desire is fulfilled. You will look for an obvious next step. I provide you with the personalized touch that speaks to the depths of your spirit revelation, the words. I use are custom-made for you in the torrents of blessing, which is designated for those who concentrate their gaze steadfastly on me. My love's raging intensity overflows. The invitation is here sealed with the blood of my lamb who cleared the path. Lay down all your cares and let your pride in your own knowledge. Rest join me as we fly into the boundless possibilities of a life you never thought conceivable with your back to the world and your eyes fixed on mine. The path of faith may seem narrow and steep at first, but when you reach the peak and look back, you will see an endless treasure waiting for those. Who had faith enough to follow his first timid steps in me with the same certainty with which dawn dispels the darkness. My promises show trustworthiness in the devoted soul and the impossible unfolds thus come and establish your home under my protective wing and see for yourself. If my wild assertions are true in their regal clothes, the poor little and feeble elevate the willing heart that I love enigmas. 
that takes a lifetime to unravel is unlocked by the steps directed by my delicate touch. Beloved, you are about to enter a life of complete submission. This blessing is bestowed upon you by the entire might of my everlasting night-long life and success in all your pursuits are yours for the taking. If you are obedient, my kid, it will be yours. I realize you have a long way to go in your education, but please remember this. I demand you to comply and to follow my every word. That is the way to achieve holiness and success. This is the path that I have laid for your success, according to my desire. This truth has been my declaration from the start. The one certain way to achieve long-term success in life is to keep my promise a lot. You are waiting for me to give you a manual on how to get rich or how to start a company, but I've already told you the most important thing. Listen carefully and do what I say. Some of you diligently seek my face in prayer, offering sacrifices and sowing the seeds of faith. I look into your hearts and see idolatry and other gods that are more important than me, even though you do all this in my name and expect good things to come of it. I'm saddened by the idols in your life, just as Moses was horrified by the golden calf that your forefathers set up long ago. Even if they don't seem like sculptures crafted of precious metal, some people will worship anything that takes my position. Money, relationships, and occupations are all gods in my eyes, my beloved one, but you must bow down to me alone. You may openly show me your undying devotion while secretly encouraging my defiance. Some Christians seem to be doing everything correctly, including praying, giving, and serving. Yet they are really blocking their own path to blessing by ignoring or downplaying my explicit mandates in Scripture for the sake of expediency. I will not compromise my moral principles. Adopting and meticulously following my directions is essential if you want to taste the completeness of my promises. I want you to know my heart and the way I ask you to live. Therefore, I encourage you to study my word thoroughly while anointed instruction may help complement your understanding. I usually provide answers via individuals you didn't see or chances you didn't take advantage of. So if your prayers go unanswered, it's because I have already worked through them. You run the danger of missing the breakthrough I arranged when you assume. I will interfere only in accordance with your expectations. You have to have faith in my timing and tactics, which don't always conform to human logic or expectations. Since I'm always, always trying to help you by arranging heavenly connections and opening doors at certain moments as you follow me with the utmost respect and submission. My darling, I see the whole picture while you understand just a part of it. Exquisite presents are here just for you. These heavenly riches which were formerly beyond your grasp will be lavishly bestowed upon you. You will be perfect and faultless in my sight, considering the advantages that await those who diligently adhere to my instructions. I vow to shield you from danger and bless you with a long, healthy life, protecting you from death at an early age. I will safeguard you from want by providing for all your requirements so you will never be in need. I will shower you with more than enough blessings, more than enough to meet your needs, and more than enough to meet your needs, and more than enough to give back to me with an overflowing heart of appreciation. Keep in mind that I am the deity of growth. You will live in tranquility and security, not worrying about your daily requirements, and I will completely fulfill my promises when you make sensible use of what you use. I will also bring development and expansion to every aspect of your life in order to properly handle the wealth and riches that are coming your way. You will be ready to manage the abundance. I have in store for you this development and maturity are prerequisites. 
the pace of change will quicken dramatically in every area. I will get your spirit and soul ready for an unprecedented outpouring of heavenly blessings. You will experience tremendous benefits that will confirm my favoritism for you as you surrender more and more to the guidance of my spirit and work with my plans rather than insisting that I follow yours. My track record of transforming good ideas into phenomenally profitable ventures, what connections is nothing short of spectacular. My miraculous emergence into deep, meaningful relationships that have been predetermined from the beginning of time will unlock doors that were previously closed to you. Defeat the enemy's machinations and transform your sorrow into a joyful celebration. Yes, my darling, those who love and seek me without condition will reap unfathomable riches. I intend to put my energy toward repairing the world and making it a more beautiful and just place by reclaiming all that sin has ruined countless innocent youngsters who are suffering from avoidable diseases and starvation but I will feed them all with the help of my loving heart. I will free those who are ensnared in cycles of exploitation, restore communities that have been devastated by injustice and violence, and anoint my children to greatness. Now is the moment for the kingdom to make massive investments all over the world. Little one, there is no need to worry about anything since corrupt economies thrive on the backs of ill-considered priorities. Do not be swayed by the terrifying headlines. Instead, refuse to adopt the attitude of this fallen era. Since the love of money and power will drive world systems that are against me, the chaos will deepen internationally, but no weapon devised against you will ultimately prevail because I will safeguard those who live in my unshakable kingdom. You were made to walk in pure delight, embracing your true identity, as my priceless treasure reject ideas that try to see out fear and instability, reject future visions tainted by the devil's lies. My kingdom is unshakable. No matter how many years pass, and my beloved citizens have plenty of good things, Please pray that I will give you spiritual insight so that you may see life's trials and tribulations through a heavenly lens. No challenge will be able to withstand the indescribable delight that I will bring into your life. In fact, even the darkest times will serve as springboards to deeper connections with me opening doors to possibilities you never dreamed existed as you surrender more and more to my loving knowledge. May my grace teach you exponential peace and confidence rather than the circumstances caused by this age. In my presence, all tension and fear dissipate replacing popular ideas with unshakable security and tenderness that will surround your heart. My beloved ones, everything changes the moment you lay eyes on my magnificent wisdom and an explanation of how life fits into this enormous. Cosmos filled with innumerable stars and marvels may be found in these few lines, no matter how large or tiny. I am always there to love and guide you. Do you recall Solomon, a guy who prioritized knowledge over fame and fortune? A series of fortunate events unfolded because he prioritized faith and obedience. You have the same option here. What matters most are the little quiet actions you take in faith, not the big showy things when you devote your mind to prayer. I am here to provide straightforward and kind instruction, like the gentle emergence of the sun from its slumber. It gradually illuminates the sky with a faith-filled heart. I urge you to embrace these times by doing this, you will be in harmony with the good that I have purposed for your life. In Christ, let me be a source of clarity and power for you. The roads I've paved for you are clear, and I pray that you'll have the strength to follow them. Imagine my soul as a companion that accompanies you on your journey, allowing you to sense my presence. 
and realize that I am here to inspire you to achieve great things and discover your unique role in this vast universe. Whenever you are confused or unsure of what to do, my counsel will shine a light on the straight route ahead. Keep this one simple fact in mind, my children, your life will be illuminated from the inside out. If you devote yourself completely to a single noble cause, stick to the road. I've shown you and don't lose sight of your end objective, no matter what area of your life. You're working on your health, your relationships, your money, or your spiritual path. I'm here to support and guide you. Those who encounter you will sense my spirit inside you, the blessings I've bestowed upon you. You may shine through in your life and give you reason to hope you gain the admiration of the gods and the people around you. As you mature and become stronger, you will have more than enough grace to do everything that I have asked of you. Even in your weakness, my grace is sufficient. They've been seeking to realize their full potential and think of planting seeds as a demonstration of trust and obedience, not as a practical deed. Your donations should be guided by my divine intent, not by amount as I speak to your hearts. Keep in mind that the sincerity and obedience with which a seed is delivered are more important to me than its size. Listen closely to my speech. I am the deity of exactitude and purpose when it comes to the nuances of time and the particular particulars of numbers and seasons. It is not my instructions that are evidently my work, but rather your obedience that reveals my divine design. I pray that they touch your spirit, illuminate your path and draw you nearer to my love. Come my darling and take some time to relax in my arms. Do not be discouraged. I see storm clouds rolling in foes, amassing in worries growing forever and ever I will be by your side. I have a tale to tell you about my servant job. Those who have read it have concluded that God despised the job and stopped blessing him, fearing that I would treat them the same way. They avoid me because they do not understand how much I love them rather than allow my job to suffer for my own amusement or vengeance. My dear, would you deny that this is your deepest desire, not worldly prosperity or comfort, but rather to grow in my knowledge as you get nearer to me. You have a limitless tale because I see the gifts I have planted in you from a little seed, the purposes I have carved for you out of the fervor of love. You're now experiencing that I am not here to derail my plans or ruin you, but rather to drive you further into them after my own fiery heart grows within your gifts. I will shape you into a general, a warrior and a champion with a lion's heart. Then I will use your talents as dazzling weapons to destroy enemy strongholds that have fought me for years. You are an invaluable asset to me. It is stated in the eternal books that the adversary also watches furious at the glory-soaked destiny that looms on the horizon. I had already spoken my promises to you and set the seeds of your inheritance, anointing and power in your spirit long before the beginning of time. Since he knew I would use your life to rescue and utilize the many kids, you shouldn't be scared or frightened by the enemy's hollow threats. No matter how fierce his scream, he is helpless against all that my blood has stained his only tools are illusions meant to distract my children from my loving protection. It is true that you have started to walk like an authority driving out evil in my name. Take courage. The adversary has taken notice and is now attacking in an effort to harm you and derail your destiny. When the winds of truth and light blow his darts will be blown away like a gust of wind. Keep your composure, my stalwart warrior. The powers of darkness will soon crumble beneath the first rays of summer sun. My darling in your own life. 
Haven't you seen how I change the path of your enemies from bad to good? How I convert poison into medicine and graveyards, into gardens? The more formidable the obstacle to my goals, the more gloriously. I smash through it with my might, my chosen ones. You must know deep within that I do not leave them in the middle of their journey. Rather, I am leading them down the road that destiny had already planned for them before I ever called time into being my darling. You have merely scratched the surface of the boundless possibilities. When I commanded in my name, but you must raise your heads high, even his smoke screens will not be able to halt. My will, just like an eagle soaring through strong wind currents, flies into your sight and your sword is lifted. You will soon climb above the storm. I am filled with joy as I envision the fierce warrior you will develop into as we train together. I have shaped you into a hero inception and I will unleash your authority and power so that you can vanquish the fear, spreading tactics that have held you captives that have held you captive. However, before you can use your spiritual muscles to destroy evil, you must be tested and stretched. There is not much time for testing. I have raised you up in me with unfaltering strength, authority, and bravery, and you will soon stand amazed at it, though. I know that you have a glorious future ahead of you. My love for you forces me to put you through the trials and tribulations that will bring my glory to light. These difficulties will eventually pass, and the shadows of dread will be consumed by the brightness of heaven. Like new life, emerging from dormant seeds, triumphs will emerge from the ashes of your sorrows. Finally, my once silent promise will scream out in a resounding voice, and those who doubted me will see my strength revealed in you, unfettered by your once shaky spirit. I have control over both space and time. You two are going to outleap one another. Your weakness will propel you forward, but my strength inside you will not fail with a single bound. You will shatter the bonds and stand victorious on the mountaintop gazing upon your promised land. We need you here today, my champion, because we have a job to accomplish. The adversary braces himself for the devastating assault that will soon befall his fortress, but you need not be afraid. I'm here to announce your triumph in a parade as I free my beloved, my warrior, and my treasure, for whom I battle ceaselessly. You, with your fearless battle cry raised and your eyes fixed only on me, surge forward into your destiny as long as I live, you will also live. You will also live. You may have had the overwhelming sensation that evil forces are always working to subdue you. There have been explosions, missiles have been fired, and smoke is engulfing you, making it impossible for you to see my reality. This devilish smoke and mirror trick is an awful plot devised by your enemy. Do not be afraid, my darling. His threats are illusory and his only goal is to confuse you and make you doubt my flawless plan for your life just around the bend. You will see my glory as a magician's trick designed to frighten but lacking in actual power when the smoky haze lifts and the imagined deceit loses its luster. I'm going to show you my grace in your life in a tremendous and tangible way and the devil's mad attempts to discourage it. You are evidence of that right before good fortune and breakthroughs are about to come your way. He can see the finish line ahead of you and he wants to stop you from reaching a new level of happiness and closeness with me more than anything let there be no doubt. I rescued you from captivity, but now you're back in the clutches of your oppressor, whose cunning plans are tailor-made to exploit your every frailty. 
Even if he's cunning, he's blind to the invincibility of my royal authority and would see through his futile attempts to harm my children, whom I protect and strengthen. Until now, my darling, he has failed miserably in thwarting my schemes, involving any spirit that has walked obediently in confidence with me thus. By accepting two unchangeable facts will strengthen yourself from the inside out. The devil has two main strategies. First, he can't stop me from answering prayers and releasing benefits that have been asked from my heavenly storehouses. And second, he can only delay the fulfillment of my promises for a little until I overcome his opposition. When you first spoke up in a genuine request in accordance with my desire, you did indeed obtain my positive response and persevere with unwavering faith singing praise to me as weapons of war against demon resistance what you see. As delays from on high are really only demonic friction, trying to visual confirmation of promised replies from my throne chamber, even if it's hard to raise your voice in worshipful faith while the conflict rages, the breakthrough that follows will be well worth the effort. Heavenly assistance is working behind the scenes to change things, so you may rest easy. A legion of angels is doing whatever it takes to get you help quickly, including removing obstructions, speeding up your trajectory, and neutralizing demonic static. I was not ignoring your request. Shocking proof will emerge shortly. In the end, you can be surprised to learn that my love was there for you. Even in the darkest times, also learn to see past the illusions of reality that you may have created for yourself. Look beyond the surface of things to see the spiritual events unfolding trust in what my word says about your life's purpose rather than letting your emotions and reasoning lead you astray. And don't let yourself be swayed by temporary setbacks or the criticism of others. These are just a small part of the bigger picture. There is a complex spiritual world under the surface of the seeming turmoil. In order to make sense of and move gracefully through these invisible processes, one needs a level of perception that goes beyond basic physiological responses. Two opposing realms are always pulling at the threads of earthly happening. It seems like anything out of the ordinary is really a sign of secret plots to ensure your rapid advancement, so I beg you to use your power over me to end it. The demonic interference trying to derail your rise announces with confidence that the tempest will pass and the result that God has planned for my life will come to fruition at the appointed time. These powerful winds will hear my words of peace. I order this tempest to subside, and then I will marvel at how your faith declarations and my mighty deeds work together to calm the storm. Allowing you to enter your destiny as planned from now on, you may protect yourself from any demonic plots that try to disrupt your kingdom duties by using my armor. As standard equipment, Imagine troops in the midst of a chaotic battlefield suffering from severe injuries caused by missing armor. Imagine yourself instead fully armored with a breastplate and heel helmet. You are armed to the teeth with the shield sword and everything else I gave you. You are impervious to attacks and fearless in the face of a demonic sorcerer because you know that this epic battle is about more than just real people. The majority of the individuals in your area of influence act like puppets following instructions given to them by competing spiritual forces. You need to master the art of getting to the bottom of things rather than focusing on the surface when you fight for dominance over them. Seek a discerning audience to help you identify the source of contentious agendas and ask for a sign from on high to tell you whether the wicked one is originating from my base of operations or Satan's, or Satan's. 
When you deal with the root causes of your problems, not just the symptoms, the Holy Spirit will always be by your side to help you commit yourself to experiencing a spiritual breakthrough by making my living word. Your main source of nourishment for your inner being put aside whatever is distracting you, so you may spend more time in my presence gaining divine momentum that will carry you forward. Even in the face of opposition, you have the potential to overcome my unstoppable might, which is shown through your self-sacrifice, and then building on those victories, you will rise to the lofty positions. I have reserved for you as an inheritance and a source of power as you look at new disclosures of my magnificent self. The scenery is stunning. The last act is playing out right now, my darling. You have triumphed against demonic attacks that blocked your path to a deeper collaboration with me. And now, you must cross this bridge. Nevertheless, you must not halt to celebrate. Even if the most enormous hurdles have been overcome and the most terrifying monsters that stood in your path have fallen, as you enter this next crucial phase of conquering land that the wicked principalities can no longer challenge, my angel armies greet you with joy. Keep your eyes up in anticipation of the increasing glory that will soon be yours as the morning sun burns away the haze. The smoky veil of hellish delusion lifts, and you finally, after much waiting, materialize the miraculous disclosures of my kindness. My love for you, my child, is infinite and unending and cannot be quantified. I hope these remarks bring you encouragement and boost you up amidst your worldly troubles. They think about the spirit that motivates people who fight against my desire for your life. I have won the victory and I'm now inviting everyone to share in my redemption. Hold on to your inner peace and serenity. No matter how hostile the situation becomes, the protection of faith rests entirely on my proclamation over you. I always keep my word and never fail to deliver. Keep in mind that I have bought your salvation and given it to you. It liberates you from the shackles of hell and the curses of sin resurrection, including letting go of death and darkness from inside life emerges. We hope this brings you pleasure finally, until it is an integral part of who you become proficient with the sword of my spirit. My scripture is alive, active, and dynamic. Your opinions are influenced by mine. Everything you say and do is infused with my truth. You will be able to announce liberation to prisoners and simply slice through entangled falsehoods with your lips. You may resist evil, remain strong when rattled, and eventually enjoy the fruit of triumph when the time is right by wearing. The skies are still down, the winds that are fighting will calm down, and the furious forces that have been causing so much trouble have gathered to make it even more difficult for you to continue. This edict has been issued by the Sovereign Lord. Be very careful, my little one. I am about to say that there is a way out of this hopeless struggle for survival. The light will always triumph over the dark and progress is being made. Despite this setback, this stagnation as a result of resistance has paved the way for prosperity to maintain eye contact with me. Smoke mirrors and threats spoken by deceitful spirits will not divert your attention or discourage you even as we speak. I am removing lies in ways you do not yet see the truth marches on undeterred, and I am making deceit come back to haunt the deceptive nothing. I've decided upon will ever be null and void. It will accomplish its goal. In the end, the word that was said will come to pass, and you, my darling, will be the one to enjoy the fruits of your labor if you hold on and don't give up assurance. I will never let you down. You are protected at all times by my angels. You are always in my prayers as my soul intercedes on your behalf, the very palms of my hands. 
Bear the imprint of your name. Think about these words and keep them close to your heart. Everything is renewed by me. You are adored, and a life filled with beauty and prosperity is waiting for you to come to me when you are tired and burdened. I will give you peace, then you may set your responsibilities aside and let me carry them. Have faith that I see you and I'm familiar with your innermost being. 